What's happening, everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I got a good friend of mine, Doctor, the Doctor Lewis Lyles. Yeah, man. you. You guys might remember, remember Lewis from the very first episode of Beastly Thoughts. Back when I first started my channel, I had him over. We talked about the PlayStation 4 when it first released, and he gave his impressions on it. I gave my impressions on it. If you guys would like to see that video, click this link right here, and it'll take you back to the very first episode of Beastly Thoughts uh, before it is what it, before it became what it is now. But Junior or Lewis is over here with me right now, and we were having a discussion. I was playing Until Dawn, which he hates. He hates the game. He's been here for how many minutes? <laughs> Like a half hour. He's been he's been here for a few minutes, right? He's he's probably seen about ten or fifteen minutes of actual gameplay, and he said that the game is a clone of Uncharted. Yes, sir. A clone of Uncharted, as in Nathan Drake. He thinks that the character that I was playing with looked like Nathan Drake, and the the gameplay was similar. Mm, uh, not, no, not necessarily similar. All right, <laughs> not necessarily. Uh, aspects of the quick time, All right, so he saw the quick time stuff, and he kept saying Uncharted. I was like, oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, he continued on, and we started having a discussion about Star Wars. He asked me what I thought about the new film. Uh, and Actually, then, the Battlefront. Oh, he, I'm sorry, he asked me about the game, Battlefront game. And uh, I told him that there's no single-player campaign, right? Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, well, this is my initial thoughts on it. I think that Star Wars as a, as a franchise is built on storytelling, mm -hmm. on world-building. Uh, people know the Star Wars worlds. They, they know the different worlds in Star Wars. They know the characters. They know what the do's and don'ts, the dark side the, the, of the Force, the light side of the Force, and the characters, pretty much their mantra. So to me, that any Star Wars games needs to have some form of story because it's what people are used to in the universe of Star Wars. What are your thoughts? Uh, Battlefront uh, pretty much says it all in terms of... Uh I guess what I expected from a Star Wars game. I really wanted to be wanted to be like um, Star Wars Force Unleashed with a single player campaign or option to do that. Mm. Um, I did see like there was a hero mode where you can play as Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. All right, so Lewis here was talking about the hero mode or what he perceived as a hero mode. It's not really a hero mode. It's a multiplayer mode. You, you a team of. I think it's 8 versus 8, or you can do 20 versus 20. And during the 20 versus 20 mode, there are little icons layered throughout the map. And if you walk through one of these icons and stay on them, you have the possibility of turning into Luke or Darth Vader. It's not based on your kills. It's not based on once you kill 5, 10 people in a row. It's just luck. And there's, these icons are layered throughout the map. And some of them will give you the ability to fly in an X-Wing, ATSTs, you know, the big walkers. Depending on which one you get, it's kind of like a lucky draw. And that's, I never got lucky enough to get Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker, but they are, they are badass, though. You know, they walk around, you shoot at them, they're, like, deflecting all yeah, your bullets. Yeah. Your bullets are flying back at your friends and stuff, so it is pretty cool. Um, but overall, my overall impressions are the game is, is good enough to buy uh, as a full-price game based on the multiplayer I've seen. They've only, they showed eight, I think, eight different modes, and during the beta, you can only play as two multiplayer modes and one wave-based, uh, like, uh, mode that, that has like waves of enemies coming. But the reason I wanted to make this video is because not all people believe the same thing. So before we get into the next portion of this video, I want you guys to understand that not everybody believes the same thing. We started talking about the Star Wars films, George Lucas, uh, his original trilogy, the prequel trilogy that came out afterwards. And my friend here, my dear friend, has been a friend of mine for 20 years. Now he's no longer a friend of mine. Because he just he, what he just said. Why don't you tell the people what you believe about the fr the original series, the first three that were made in the late seventies and the eighties, versus the the prequel series that was created like after the two thousands. He made he's making this video because I think that the first three Star Wars films were way better than the original four, five, and six. Um, we can go you mean the pre? Let's clarify. Yeah. You think that the prequel, the ones that came later, that showed Obi Wan Kenobi young, with the ones with the CG. Let's just go ahead and do it like that. The ones with the CG were the ones that are better made or better overall to me than the original George Lucas uh, Muppet Baby style. <laughs> All right. So basically, what you're saying is. Now I, I have to be clear because I know people are going to be all in the comments. Yes, it's all good. You're saying that. Are you talking about the production quality, the, the direction of the film? Or are you talking about the film overall, the story, the characters, the worlds, the fights? 
the film. Like, mm-hmm. if, if you could only and have... That's a, deeper, that's a deeper discussion. I, I'm Production-wise, uh, the first three, which is uh, stories one, two, and three, uh, production-wise, way, way better. Now, to clarify, four, five, and six were ahead of their time when it came up, which is one of the reasons why Star Wars became so popular. That I understand, but for nowadays, 2015... Um, the first three are way. You're talking about the prequels. Uh huh. The prequels. Okay, the prequels are a lot better than the fourth. So if 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 you had the option, if if, if the 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 movie gods came to you and said, Mister Lewis, the Doctor, mm-hmm. we're going to give you the option. We can only sustain one of these paradigms. One of them is going to have to go away forever. One, two, three. So you want the pre? You would rather have the prequels forever than the originals. I can relate to a lot of the situations and the characters in the first three. Yeah, you're crazy as hell, like Anakin fucking Skywalker. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Look, I totally, I love this guy to death. This is my brother, guys. Honestly, I've known him forever. I've never heard anybody say this. So he definitely walks to the beat of his own drum. I've never in my life ever heard anyone say that the prequels were better than the original series. And if you guys hear all the noise in the background, we got kids. He has children. I have children, and they're back in my daughter's room tearing shit up, and that's just what happens. Um, but. For me, the original trilogy, which would be four, five, and six, are infinitely in every single way better than than uh, the stuff that we saw now. The only the only uh, thing that I would say maybe I liked about the new films might be a little bit of the fights. I like the Darth Maul fight. I think it should have been a little bit better. I hated the way it ended. To me, it was just really incredibly stupid. Um, but that would be it. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the character development. I thought Anakin Skywalker was laughable. I thought the whole situation with the um, the Resistance and and, and the, so much politics, it just took me out of the whole uh, feel of what Star Wars was for me. And the original trilogy was about saving the galaxy is about the, the dark side of the forest versus the good uh, it was about finding yourself well that is a it's, part of uh, Star Wars politics that, that's the whole foundation the whole reason uh, I understand it I understand there was politics but I feel like politics overtook what Star Wars was in the prequel series uh, trilogy I think it became it, I felt like I was watching the fucking debates I, I, I felt like at any time you know once the well, emperor- I thought the first three were explained in 4, 5, and 6. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the events that led up to 4, 5, and 6 because without the political aspects of the first three, 4, 5, and 6 won't be have as much impact as it does now. I don't believe that at all. I think that the 4, 5, and 6 have just as much impact now as they did before. Well, how much the- politics were involved in 4, 5, and 6? Like when you go back and watch the film, how much of it were debate? How much of it was uh, the senator or whatever making his making his or her case about certain planets and all that? Very, very little. But it was <clears throat> it was very little in the original series that dealt with politic in the way that the prequel series did. Mm-hmm. the The original series was more about good versus evil and finding your way around that, finding yourself, finding finding whether or not you want to walk a path, one path versus another. And that was the thing that resonated, I think, with more of the audience in the early 80s, was you can decide what kind of person you're going to be, and this could be the outcome in a, diff- in a different world or a different universe. This could be the outcome. You could become very powerful in a good way or bad way. I think that's what resonated. I think that the prequel series just stayed on the politics way too much. Mm-hmm. I didn't like to see Yoda flipping around in CG fighting. I didn't like to see it. I'm sorry. I didn't like to see it. It's not to me. But at least he was fighting because in four, me, five, or six, how would that be possible if he got a hand stuck in his? I'm not saying that it was terrible, but when I see CG, I like to see CG that looks li- believable. That was believable. To or, me, dude. First of all, it's a green midget. Okay, <laughs> with a, it's a it, come on, let's call it what it is. <laughs> and how much realism do you expect from? Star like Wars? I said, I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was bad, but. He was going off. I, th- I think, yeah, he was. He was going off fighting. Uh, and like I said, that would be the only thing I'd probably like more in the prequels versus the originals was some of the fights. You know, I like Mace Windu. I like watching all the Jedis going fighting. I think that was really cool. But to me, that was the only thing. I don't think that the character development was even on, even close to being on par with the original. I don't think that, I think that the practical effects looked a lot better to me than the silicon graphics, the CGI effects. I, 
I would much. I'm telling you, man. You a spear with that movie. I, I'm just being honest. But for me, practical effects always look better than CG. They always do, unless the CG is done in a way that looks better than most people allow. Most people will do CG, and Lucas is notorious for making terrible CG. Now, if you see the Force Awakens trailer, when you see the young lady walking through the desert, and there's like a little R2-D2 type of robot with her, that's CG, but it looks real. It looks it looks much better than the big camel-type CG monsters you see in the prequel films that George Lucas did. Disney did a lot more work polishing and to make it look realistic. But... In closing, Mr. Lewis here, he believes that the prequel series is better overall than the original. I think that the original is better in every single way, personally, than than the prequel films. But I got to know in the comments section, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the prequel has its pros and cons? Do you think the the prequels had Jar Jar Binks? Do you you think the prequels... (coughs) (laughs) Take in consideration... Episodes two and three, three in particular, which uh, signify the transformation of Darth Vader. Um, and no! all, the, all, and all, listen, to all <laughs> the different. When you think about why he became such an iconic character, it, who couldn't relate to that or something of that nature? You know what? I think it's bullshit, and I call bullshit on that. When you watch Anakin go through his transformation, it wasn't a gradual thing. It wasn't like you saw all of a sudden he was starting to feel bad and questioning himself. All of he went from being a good kid to being a, a fucking murderer. No, he went to kill no. all the the young Jedi. You see the struggle. You nope, see the struggle. I, nope, I didn't see. Yoda a even seen the struggle. No, Yoda read the script. That's what Yoda <laughs> did when he had the uh, the, the, the uh, fight himself and the struggle with his his past and his mom and all that situation. You see the transformation when he became such an angry person when he found out his mom been sold into slavery and all that yeah, craziness. That's that's fine, right? And I understand that, but I'm saying that the paradigm shift is way too much for me to be a believable one. I think that you can't go from being a Jedi, being trained in in the arts of being a positive and light filled person your whole life. And then all of a sudden you go into the Jedi Academy and kill all the children mercilessly. You slaughter them all. To me, that's a huge paradigm shift. I mean, I mean, as a as a young Anakin, he was darker than Darth Vader was in the in the, uh, the original film. You know, Darth Vader, he would choke the hell out of somebody, right? But he let he he let him go. Young Anakin going in there killing every child, you know, sticking lightsabers up. Yeah, I mean, who knows what he did? But to me, that that whole thing was a little unbelievable and that's that's just my own personal thoughts i know a lot of people share the same sentiment i think that if you if you show real character development it'll show him going from being a good person to him going to be from him going to uh becoming a kind of good person to a person who's indifferent to a person who leans toward saw the struggle you've never seen the character development of where he was when he was an innocent boy in episode one to where he ended up. And, episode I mean, that's one. What the whole episode first one had. All about, episode though. one showed nothing. All it showed him doing was pod racing in the first one. There was no. There was honestly there was no Jedi growth in the first film. He wasn't okay, even being okay, trained. Let's, let's start from the second Wars, film. Second and third. One. Second film. He the started. Second one, by the way, is my favorite one. Second film. It started him and uh, Obi Wan inside their their ship, mm-hmm. and then they're jumping, flying through all kind of crazy shit at the beginning of the film. Mm-hmm. He was good. So. Throughout, throughout the entire process of the second film and the third film, he went from being a good person to becoming a mass murderer. To me, it would take it would take multiple hours just to show that that character uh, progression, but they didn't. We were watching the fucking presidential debates most of the You're film. Stupid. You watch a debate, and you come back, then all of a sudden he's mad, he's angry, right? Not You're not my happened. father, and then all of a sudden he's murdering in the everybody. Section they explain you that's not what happened. You've seen the growth, you've seen the progression of. The I saw more game. growth out of Joe Button's growth album than than I saw. Stop playing, out of, Joe Button. Um, did you just mention? Joe yes, I, I sure did. I want you guys to let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much. For, for tuning in and listening to this presidential Don't debate. Do <laughs> <laughs> listening to the debate between me and the Dr. L, yeah, my, my good friend here. And you guys don't have to agree with me or him, but I'm really curious. You're curious too, right? Yeah, I'm sure you're going to sign off in the comments to know what you guys think. Do you think that the progression of Anakin throughout the last two films of the, the, the prequel trilogy was enough to warrant him doing mass murder? I totally don't. Do you think that the prequel films were better or do you think that the original were better? Let us know in the comments. Be as gritty and as violent as you want to be with him. 
let him know <laughs> in the comment That's section. Fine, I'll continue. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the gameplay, be sure to give a thumbs up. Tell this guy how good uh, Until Dawn is for some Man, reason. Don't do that. Tell him that too. If you played the game, tell him what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.